peace and love sweets and welcome back to another video so i know a lot of you have been asking me to fix a vegan meal with you also here it is the long-awaited vegan video today i am going to be doing a idea that i got from pineapple um vegan um and it was her um vegan fried catfish i am going to try that today and i'm also going to fix some um, butternut squash and um zucchini medley with it with some onions in it it's going to be really nice and sweet and i'm going to also fix some pinto beans because i love me some pinto beans so that is what i'm eating this sunday just so you guys know so just stay tuned and i'll show you the ingredients that i have and everything that i need to complete this meal thank you guys so much for tuning in to another video i hope this is very informative if you have any questions please feel free to let me know also, to all of my new subscribers, thank you guys so much for all of your support. I see you out there. I love you. Appreciate the support. Continue to share this content because we need for people to start circulating some truth out here, okay? Okay. Anyways, without further ado, here we go. Everything that I will be using to season my food today. So, yeah, that's pretty simple, right? These are the main ingredients that I will be using. Um or the main foods that I will be using today. So I will be using pinto, eating pinto beans. The um, banana blossom is what's gonna help me get the imitation fish. And then my zucchini and squash medley. And that's what I'll be using the onion with. And also this is some seaweed, just the original crispy nutty taste. Um, that I will also be using to get that fishy taste for um, the imitation catfish okay so just stay tuned to see how all of these ingredients turn out just so you all know this is a serving size for two I will be the only one eating this so most of the time I will eat early in the day and then I'll eat later in the day and that'll be my two meals for the day and that's it so yeah it's not a lot of food but it's enough for me so Stay tuned. Okay, so here we are. I have prepped everything. As you can see here, the banana blossom is taken out of the can. I have went ahead and drained it. Um, I cut up the onions and the squash and the zucchini, so I can go ahead and put it into the pot. I have my beans over here soaking. You're technically supposed to let the beans soak for at least 24 hours, but I don't mind. I like to slow cook mine, um, and then I'll cook them up on high for a little bit and they still turn out the same for me. These onions right here are for the pinto beans because I do like onions in my pinto beans. And here I have a little bit of avocado oil and some pink Himalayan salt that is um, coming to a boil. I'm trying to bring this water to a boil. I am using my distilled water. Remember, you do not wanna cook with the water from the faucet because it does still have those chemicals in it. So try and cook your food with distilled water or um, pH balanced water, okay? okay? So right now I'm about to go ahead and season the blossom. And I'm going to be using this for the fishy taste. So it'll go directly on top of that. And all of this stuff over here will also be mixed into this together. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so after I have seasoned it, this is what it looks like. It kind of looks like a chicken salad. Um, and then I've also went ahead and mixed my cornmeal and my fish fry um, breading mix together and I added pepper to this so that's why I looked extra peppery because I like a lot of pepper. I avoided putting pepper in here because I wanted pepper in the skin. So I'm going to go ahead and shape these, put them in there and get them to mold together and I'm going to put them on a pan they look kind of like little fish or little croquettes once they come out i'm gonna go ahead and stick this in a freezer for a little bit just for a little while while the grease is still warming up and then i'm gonna go ahead and drop them okay so they just came out of the freezer and they are ready so is the grease so i'm just going to place them right here on the rack Like that. Shake it a little bit, make sure none of them are sticking together. 
This is amazing. Look at how good that looks. It really looks like fish. This is crazy to me. This looks like freaking fish. And these are swelling up slowly but surely. They are swelling. Give them a couple more minutes. is how it turned out it looks perfect oh my goodness i'm so ready to eat it looks so good and so yummy and i think i may just make a slaw i thought i was gonna make a slaw but i don't have any cabbage I only have spinach and i don't want a spinach slaw i could do a potato salad a little small potato salad i think i'm gonna do a little mini potato salad i guess yeah i guess i could do that small little taters here okay okay little potato salad okay so i decided to do uh oh i decided to do a potato salad a roasted potato salad so i just baked these little small potatoes that i showed you before and now i'm about to come over here and i took some green onions and chopped those up and i'm gonna put it in the bowl with our vegan mayonnaise and some relish and unfortunately, I do not have any pimento. I have everything in here, and now I'm just chopping it up and mashing it up really, really good. And then I'm going to put it on the plate. It smells so good, and it looks so good as well. I love how crunchy it is and textured it is. Those right now, so I'm going to have to make do. These are our pinto beans. They're cooking down right now. Whoop. These are finished. They look so good. Oh my goodness, I'm so ready to eat it. And I've already plated my um, banana blossoms. That is our imitation catfish. And we're going to give it a try. Matter of fact, we're going to go ahead and break a piece. Here you go. Let's try this piece together. So this is how it looks. It looks so delicious. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Um, it does really look like fish. Um, ironically, it does have a fish texture as well. So we're going to go ahead and try it. Oh my gosh. It looks like fish. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I'm so glad I got two cans. Because this right here just made one can. Oh my gosh. And I was able to get six pieces out of one can. Oh my goodness. Y'all, this is so delicious. I'm so... I have to make a slaw next time. I loved fish. I did. I loved fish. But I couldn't feel like my life was of more value than fishes. Like, the fishes are dying. And they do a very, very, very big part in helping us stay alive. Um, the way the ocean works itself in nature in itself is just you just have to respect it and i don't know i just can't eat fish anymore but this right here let me tell you something i'm i'm fine with this for the rest of my life i am fine with this for the rest of my life this is so freaking good this is so good it's perfect and it's a plant this is a plant mm. here we go this is our roasted um potato salad i only have just enough for one serving so, um, yeah, I don't have any more. I am cooking for just enough just for myself. And I also went ahead and put me some squash in a bowl because I didn't want the juices running. I tried to put it on here, but stuff started running and I started panicking. So, <laughs> I um, actually just went on ahead and put it in a bowl that's separate. And now I'm just waiting on my pinto beans and it's going to be time for sis to eat. And I'm also going to drink some grape juice because grape juice is, is good for you. So get you some grape juice. That is what I will be drinking. And yeah. The beans are still cooking. They have a little bit more time on them. They are still nowhere near finished. So I'm probably just going to go ahead and eat my food, honey. Yes. Yes. This is all vegan. All vegan. All vegan, baby. All vegan. Do you hear me? You can eat like this. You can eat clean. I promise you don't have to eat no animals. There are no animal products. There are no animals in any of this stuff. Straight vegan, baby. What's up?
Thank you all so much for tuning in to another video. Please thumbs up this video if you liked it. I really enjoy cooking for you. My beans are still on the stove. It's going to take me some time. And I'm okay with that. And as soon as they're finished, I will definitely be taking a picture on my Instagram. Um, or putting it on my story so you guys can see it. So, yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for tuning in. Peace and love, family. I will see you in another video. Bye.